And the Miami Hurricanes are headed to Tampa. They're going to take on the South Florida Bulls. And this number uh, was at 17 and a half in favor of Miami. It has come down to 16 and a half consensus, a total of 65 and a half on this one. And the numbers love Miami here. Stats model has Miami minus 36.13. It's got Miami minus 22 for power rating and stats model. Byron Brown is having trouble with passing the football. Now, their current strength of schedule is number three in the country. Miami's is number 95. There's a massive difference there. But you look at Havoc rate, Miami's defense is number four at creating it. They are number eight in uh, in defending against passing explosives. They are number four in PPA per pass allowed. The South Florida offense is number 124 in PPA per pass. There were guys open for South Florida against Alabama, and Brown couldn't hit them. Now, they have been pretty good at running the football. Uh, rushing explosiveness it looks like it could be an issue here. South Florida is number eight. Miami number 123, so don't be surprised if South Florida busts a few big runs uh, somewhere in there, right? And probably with Byron Brown, et cetera. We'll see. But you start looking at stuff rate. Miami's defense is number one in stuff rate. Uh, They're number five in defensive line yards, so offensive line yards allowed, whatever you want to call it. Miami's offense is awesome. They are not running the ball very much, which is to be expected from a Shannon Dawson offense. But they are, like, actually legitimately good. USF has been good at defending uh, the rush. Like, they're they're number 54 in PPA per rush. They're number 120 in rushing explosiveness. Well, Miami is number 109 on offense, so it's not like they can really take advantage of that. Uh, Rushing success rate, South Florida, number 15. They're number 12 in offensive line yards allowed, number 5 in stuff rate. Like, this is actually a legitimately interesting matchup. Now, when you get into the five factors plus talent rank, that's where it gets tricky because South Florida is number 50 and Miami is number 6. I think we're overthinking this. Miami is legitimately good. I think that after last year, Mario Cristobal just handed over the offense to Shannon Dawson, told him, you know what? You have it. I'm not messing around with this anymore. You can kneel the ball. You can do whatever you think is best. You've got a quarterback now. You have all these weapons, Restrepo, uh, et cetera. I think Miami covers. Easy. Uh, Miami does play Virginia Tech next week. But uh, South Florida has to go to Tulane. So schedule spot doesn't exactly play for anybody here. So I will take Miami minus the 16 and a half on this one in Tampa. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.